With the rise of the Proton translation layer, PC gaming options on Linux and Mac OS have become broader than ever before, with many Windows games running nearly as well as they do on Windows itself. Unfortunately, many is not all. The Age of Empire series is an example close to my heart. With the recent official launch of Windows 11 on ARM and Parallels, I thought it was time to look at what my M1 MacBook Air with 16GB of RAM and only 7 GPU cores could do. So I'm playing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, released just a couple of years ago, though it is a remaster of a game from the late 90s. I'm choosing to play at 1440p low. The built-in ranked benchmark failed to hit any of the game standards uh, for online play, even at 900p, but I'm undeterred in playing anyway. As you can see, the gameplay is very playable in this match, and I had no trouble at all destroying my AI opponent's base with Frankish Cav and a whiff of Siege Rams. Latency was surprisingly low and felt better than many other local VMs I've used for less demanding tasks and didn't feel all that different than playing on a not crazy high performance PC. I wish I had more powerful Apple Silicon to test different and more demanding games, but even playing the Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition on Apple Silicon is a pretty major breakthrough to me, as it's one of the games that's required me to keep a Windows PC, as there's been no way to play it on a Mac or a console, although they did just release an Xbox version. These are really exciting times for people who are using a Windows PC just for that one specific app, um, or now even just that one specific game. There may be an option. Drop it, baby. Oh, 